Hello guys, today we will be replacing a brake master cylinder on a 1997 Oldsmobile Aurora. Now you may not have the same vehicle, but the repair generally applies to all makes and models. Refer to your service manual for your specific vehicle. Now the first step you want to do is remove some of the oil from the reservoir, although this is not necessary. The first thing I did was spray the brake line fittings with penetrating oil. It will help the lines come off easier. Now for the dismount, I used a 15 millimeter wrench to remove the two mounting bolts. They attach to the brake booster. Tool size may vary depending on your vehicle's brand. Here I went ahead and removed the brake booster line. It is not necessary, but I went ahead just to give myself a little bit more room to work with. Next, I used a 14 millimeter wrench to crack the brake lines open slightly. It is preferred to use a flare nut wrench to reduce the chances of rounding off the fitting, but I managed to get by with an open wrench. Now here, you'll want to work the fitting back and forth a couple times. Next, we'll move on to removing the hose that feeds the ABS. I used a pair of pliers, but be careful not to yank on too hard. Take your time. Now we moved on to actually moving the brake master cylinder. We moved it out of the mounting studs and rotated it so that we could access the lines better. I used two plugs to keep the residual oil from leaking out from the outlets on the master cylinder. It is not necessary, but I try to keep the cleanup to a minimum. Here's one of the plugs. And below the electrical connector is the second. Now we're moving on to the electrical connector. We rotated the assembly earlier so that we could also have access to this safety tab that keeps the connector from backing out on its own. We have to keep this clip to reuse it. Now here we remove the whole assembly. As you can see, the brake booster is a bit moist. I went ahead and wiped it down with a rag. Here's the electrical connector. That's the bottom of the clip. And the little tab that you saw me pull out, it slides in between that clip. There's the little clip. As you can see, there's both of the mounting studs, both of the lines, and the hose that goes to the ABS. Now I put a little lid to keep any oil from leaking out on the lines onto the car itself. Reinstalling everything is just a reversal of the removal procedure. Only this time, you're going to snug up the lines. Don't over tighten them because you still need to bleed the system. Fill your reservoir with oil and leave your lines snug up. Now this next step, it helps to have a partner, but you can do it by yourself. What I did is I grabbed the handle from my jack and I wedged it between my brake pedal and my seat. I scooted my seat all the way forward to make sure there was firm pressure on the pedal and then I went out to the reservoir and I grabbed my 14 millimeter wrench and I cracked open one of the lines and you can hear the air escape so whenever you hear that you close it back up and redo the same procedure where you wedge the jack handle or the stick or have somebody press the brake pedal and then hold it firmly and then you go out and you Crack the line again one more time and you just repeat this process up to I'd say at least 10 times just to reassure that there's no air in the reservoir and the master cylinder. Now you're going to have to top off your fill line as you do this. Once you feel that your brake pedal is really firm and you can't wedge a stick in between your seat and the pedal or it's really hard to press down to the floor and you are done. Here's my old brake master cylinder and thanks for watching. There's a pneumatic brake bleeder.
but I used it as an oil extractor. But you can get by with a turkey baster if you want. I went ahead and used this because I had it at hand. 